Hi, I'm Dave Epstein and this is Growing Wisdom and it is November. November here in the Northeast and, and across a lot of the country means time to clean up the leaves. And one of the things you want to be doing this month is get the leaves not only off the lawn, that's real important, but you also want to get the leaves out of your beds. You don't want the leaves matted down around the perennials. The other thing I like to do is throw a little bit of mulch down around my perennials so I don't see any bare ground. A nice organic mulch works really well. You can still plant bulbs in November. You can actually plant bulbs if you can get into the ground right up to Christmas time if you want. I'm going to stick some of these allium bulbs in here. These are big bulbs. And remember, furry side down, that's the roots. These go fairly deep into the ground. After you get a freeze, just cut down all your perennials that should be cut down to the ground. You can put this stuff in the compost pile as well. Check the snow blower. Be sure it's got the proper oil. Also, check the tires. I got a flat here, so I've got to get this fixed before it starts snowing. Wherever your irrigation system is, go inside, turn it off, and then be sure that you have your company come in and blow the system out for the year. That'll put air into the pipes so nothing freezes and cracks. November, you can still plant stuff. So I've got this little tree. It's actually Harry Lauder's walking stick and we can plant this stuff or you can move existing trees and shrubs during November. If you can get into the ground, you can most likely move things almost up until Thanksgiving. The only thing I recommend is that if you check a fall hazard list, there are certain trees and shrubs that shouldn't be moved in the fall. So just make sure that whatever you're moving isn't on that list. You know, I have this little water garden and early in November or even in October, I like to put the net on it and that helps keep the leaves out of the water. They won't all stay out, but I won't get so much sludge next spring to have to pull out. So good idea is to net it. Just remember to take it off before everything freezes in December. If you have any pots or containers that are made of clay or concrete, you want to flip them upside down. If they fill with water and snow, they can definitely crack. Good idea to put up a bird feeder. That one's outside my office window. I love watching the birds come. It really keeps things interesting when the weather really turns cold and snowy. We want you to come back not only in the fall, the spring, the summer, the winter, all the months, all the weeks. We update the site with videos constantly for you. And if you have any suggestions, be sure to email me at dave at growingwisdom.com.